Greetings everyone. I have a very interesting beer to review today. Um, so interesting that it comes in its own paper bag. That's an idea already done by Dogfish Head, but uh, we're doing it again here. We won't uh, mention it. This is um, a pretty rare brew that we have here today and pretty unique. This is from what's the name of the town where this is made? This is the from Brew Dog, Fraser uh, Borough, Scotland. Brew Dog, sink the Bismarck. Um, <laughs> I'm I've been looking forward to this. Uh, I actually had to order this from Scotland. Uh, you can't get it anywhere else. Um, what it is, um, I guess technically I've been seeing it called a quadruple IPA. Um, it's currently, as of the taping of this video, the strongest beer ever brewed in that it is 41% alcohol by volume. This is an 82 proof beer. Um, Sink the Bismarck. <laughs> Obviously I'm not going to drink this whole bottle or even come close to it. Um, I was told this uh, beer comes with a cork, but it does not look like this beer has a cork in it. Uh, so hopefully, I'm hoping that it keeps with the, uh, when I take the cap off. Um, I can't imagine this beer would be very carbonated, <clears throat> uh, considering the high alcohol content. Um, I also uh, am not sure exactly what kind of drinking vessel to use. I, I had a shot glass ready, but I, I think I'm actually going to use a, uh, a wine glass um, in an attempt to get the full um, aroma slash uh, appearance uh, judgment from this brew. Uh, this is the second, from the second of four batches of this they made. Obviously, it's a small batch. Um, just seeing if there's any uh, interesting information on here. Well, this was not a cheap beer either. <laughs> the price of the bottle plus the price of the shipping was... Pretty, uh, pretty up there. Uh, I got some other brew dog brews from them since essentially uh, the cost of shipping for one bottle is the same as 12. So I evened it out and got myself a 12 pack from uh, Fraserborough, Scotland. So let me go ahead and open this. Indeed, there is no cork. Wow, the smell has hit me already. Let me go ahead and uh, I think I will use the wine glass for this gonna go ahead and pour just a bit okay there's uh, some carbonation it's very I can tell it's very thick but it's a uh, golden brown color a little reddish Whew. obviously no head on this but uh, I can tell it's very syrupy Very hoppy aroma <clears throat> and very citrusy. This is going to be interesting. It's very strong. I, I, I was actually not expecting this beer to taste very good, but now now that I'm smelling it, it smells really good. Um, I don't know if you can see just how thick that is by seeing it you know, cling to the glass there. The smell is definitely very good. It's it's very hoppy and very fruity. <clears throat> um, it doesn't smell too bitter like uh, like a regular IPA would, but um, I guess we can only know for sure from tasting it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, 
give this a taste. Hmm. Well, obviously, extremely, extremely hoppy. Um, extremely hoppy. Uh, and I do like hops. This is very, very hoppy. That combined with the sheer um, alcohol content um, makes for a very powerful taste here. It's very, very strong, as would be imagined. Um, has sort of a, um, a piney taste to it, a piney hop taste. Um, let me see. Made with barley, hops, yeast, water, okay. <clears throat> Yeah, there's not very much uh, malt to be tasted in this. The hops pretty much uh, take control. Um, it, it's not extremely bitter. Oops, as I almost you know spill it all over the place. That's all right. Hmm. It's definitely very good. Um. It's 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 harder for me to describe more than I already have. Um, basically, it's very very strong, very hoppy, very <laughs> alcohol laden. Um, let me see if I can get any more uh, interesting information here. The mouth feel is very. Um, it's actually not as as heavy and syrupy as as I would have imagined. I mean, it it definitely is. Um, on the syrupy side. <coughs> hmm. Wow, strong. I'm wondering if they uh, gave me the wrong kind of bottle cap for this <laughs> by accident because there is definitely, this is definitely not a beer to drink all at once. Uh, I'm gonna attempt to recap this and uh, save most of it for later. I may have another uh, drink after this one. Um, but yeah, it doesn't really uh, it doesn't really linger in the mouth that much. Um, there's obviously an aftertaste to it. Packs a punch. This is um, <laughs> this definitely pushes the boundary of, of what you can call a beer. Um, but I would say it is definitely unmistakably still a beer. Um, it, it very much so uh, retains the qualities of an IPA. Um, so it is it's definitely still a beer. Um, I'm seeing a lot of comments here. Very drinkable beer in small quantities, and and I will definitely vouch for that, having uh, tasted it here. If you can imagine a <laughs> a beer that is a hard liquor, basically, that's I mean that's essentially what this what we have here. There's uh, minimal carbonation in there. As I said before, there's no head, and I I didn't expect to see one here. But, um, I guess that's about it for this one. I mean, this was definitely worth the try. Um, I wouldn't pay as much for it as I did again, but I'm glad I did it just to uh, taste it this time. And I look forward to um, trying some of their other brews. But, uh, this is... Definitely, definitely some extreme beer right here. And uh, not many people have reviewed it because I think not many people have tried it. Um, I only see two 
two reviews on Beer Advocate. Um, but uh, it's very hard to come by. Very expensive, especially if you live uh, if you don't don't live in the UK, um, as I don't. I imagine many people would not want to spend as much as I did on this beer, but um, it was good. I like it. It's uh, very different, though, as would be expected. So once again, this is Brewdog Sink the Bismarck. Quadruple IPA, 41% alcohol by volume. Good stuff in small quantities. Well, thanks for watching. See you next time.